just released, Andre Wade, once again, come to share some things. Today, we're going to talk about something that's taking place in my life that I'm not so much of a shame of, but something that I should have been aware of. Because, like I said in my last episode, that when you're in prison, you have dreams. And so when you're free, you want to come out and you want to try to live those dreams. But when, in, when we're in prison, it's so much that we'll focus on. But when you be free and you come out here, it's so much that can unfocus you of your dreams. I, I, I pray that, uh, that people that get out of prison get an opportunity to seek just release. Not so much uh, feeling sorry for me, but... Look at me and do what they dream of what they dreamed of all the years that they was incarcerated. I don't care if you was incarcerated for one year, six months. You had a dream to do something once you was free. Because one day you're going to be free. And when you are free, God is going to do some things in your life. Not the people that's been waiting on you. Not the new women that you meet, the new friends that you meet. God, God is the person that we pray to when we're incarcerated. When you're laid there a bunch of lonely nights, and all you wanted was something good, to do something good. Because it's not all about me, that's what Just Release is about. Just Release is about the people that's outside the walls of confinement, and for those who are inside. This show enlightens people to know what it feel like to do 20 something years in prison and get out. I'm so happy. I'm so thankful. But yet and still, I don't appreciate it. I'm not thankful for it. I'm still doing things that I did years ago. I'm still experiencing some of my selfish ways, some of my ways that I'm stuck into and I have to break that I have to ask God to take away from me, to release from me. Because see, if these things don't be taken away from me, then they are hinder me. And they will tell them what it might do. It might place me back in prison, which is where I'm trying to stay from. I'm trying to stay from bad relationships. I'm trying to stay from bad people that's doing things that's not right on a daily basis. I'm thankful for being free. You know, when I look at all the stray dogs that's running around, I'm seeing some pit bulls, I'm seeing all these German shells, I'm seeing all kind of good dogs that was once domestic dogs inside of people's homes. It's not easy out here. It's hard out here. It's so hard that people have to, to release their animals. Great animals, pit bulls and German shepherds, great animals just running around in the streets of Houston. Domestic dogs, home dogs, now they have to live. Why? If we don't stick with our dreams, if we don't stick with God places in our life on a daily basis, then we'd be just like the stray dog that was brought up in a home, that was loved in a home. God would take away those things and He'll place us in the streets. He'll place us in the streets. Because it's not easy out here. It's not easy to make parole. See, if you have a loved one inside the walls, then you have to do some extra things in order to help them make parole. See, sometimes our people would say we just give it to God. Well, we do give it to God. But it's something that we have to give also. And you have to ask God what it is. Just release, enlighten you, on the things that you have to do in order to help the people. See, and I was being selfish. And I was being selfish by not doing my show on a daily basis. Like I said in my last episode, it took a situation with a young lady in order for me to start this back up. Because I was being selfish and she showed me that. And I want to appreciate that. If I don't ever talk to her no, no other time, if you never be in my life, I appreciate that. I'm thankful for that. Just release. 
It's here for the people. This is not for Andre Wade. This is for the people. This is for those who listen to this show. This is for those who share this show with somebody. That's what this show is about. Being enlightened to what's taking place in Texas prisons. And what's taking place in Andre Wade's life. Like I say, dreams do come true. But if we don't stay focused, our dreams will be shattered. We'll become stray dogs living in the streets because you know the people that you love you can't come out of these these confinements with the same attitude with the same ways because your people that love you who, who stood by you and listened to all the time when you wrote and just said how you was going to change continue your dream and even for those who have never been to prison continue your dreams allow God to make your way for you just release with Andre Wade. I want to thank you guys.